Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DFS Experience for Tuesday, April 16th. we got a 10-game slate. We're going to try to make this video as quick as possible. We're going to start up top with Dylan Seeds going up against Milwaukee. Now, I did take a quick glance at the pitchers on hand for this slate. And um, even though Dylan Seeds is a good play, he's a good pitcher. I don't think I want to mess with Milwaukee right now. I'm gonna stay away from them. They kind of, they kind of hot right now. So, being that there's other very good pitchers on the slate, I'm gonna just uh, fade Dylan C's in my main lineup. Um, for now, like if I'm playing a lot of lineups, I'll, I'll throw Dylan C's in the one. Yeah, he could have eight nine strikeouts, no problem. But I just ch choose not to go down that path. If I'm playing one lineup, Gilbert's in play against Cincinnati. Cincinnati got a scary offense also, but Gilbert's been, he's been on fire. He's been on a roll. Brady Singer against the anemic White Sox is pretty obvious. Hunter Green, Seattle acting like they want to hit now. So Hunter Green um, might be for some problems. Tomorrow, BB against Boston. Boston sneaky. Um, they didn't hit today. Or they, they didn't hit in the early slate or the, the showdown slate. But they do got some sneaky bats. Especially one through one through four, one through five. One through five. Depending on where they put Cassis. So I don't think I need um I don't think I need BB to be honest with you. Jones has been playing well. The Mets. They got a few, like I said in the last video, there's a few bats that are a bit sneaky. But at, overall, as a team, they're, not, they're nothing to fear. Lance Lynn. I won't mind taking a few bats against against Lance Lynn. He, he's been, he showed you over the last few, year, few years that he could, be touch, he could be touched. So, I'll throw Jeloff and um, who else they got? Jeloff, Geloff, Geloff. Noda, there's another one. Uh, let's see. Geloff, Noda, and Blade. Uh, Blade is not hitting well. Seth Brown, Langwilliers. If you want to throw him in your catcher spot, catcher spot is really um. Don't want to use the word sacred, but want to be. Very specific when using that catcher spot. Um, I like maybe just go off for now against Lance Lynn, unless you're building your you're building your lineup and you can fit more Oakland A's in there, and it makes sense. But other than that, I'm not trying to stack Oakland. Um, Whitlock, Whitlock's okay. Cleveland's been hitting the ball well. Crochet, croquet, I don't think it's pitching because he just pitched on Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You know, thank you. I don't think he's pitching. He'd be another relief pitcher. Reynaldo Lopez is in play. Houston's like, Houston's all over the place. They're not hitting like they're supposed to, but they're getting timely hits. So Coochie. So Coochie's in play. Just got to be careful with one through four, the Yankees. Or the top the top part of their lineup. He, if he can finagle his way through them, he should be okay. Rodon. I never I never trusted Rodon. I don't trust Toronto. So it's like I probably don't touch either one of them. But if I'm playing a lot of lineups, I probably favor throwing some some Blue Jays in there. Maybe Turner. He seems to have a pulse. Maybe Turner. Um. Maybe Biggio right now. Those two are hitting. The rest of the team are just, I don't know what they're doing. Quintana, I still, I don't care how many good games Quintana has or decent games. I don't trust them. I'm up for going right back to Pittsburgh for some Pittsburgh stacks to get Quintana out of here, to be honest with you. Is that it for pitchers? Wade Miley. Not interested in these guys. We know that. Hunter Brown. No, that's not. 
Hunter Brown can't be pitching. Then he just pitch and get smacked. Hold on. Let me check my trusty. Let me check my trusty guide. Houston. Houston, Houston, Houston. Looks like Hunter Brown again. Hunter Brown and Cannon for Jonathan Cannon for the White Sox and Hunter Brown for the Braves. For the for the, the Braves. For the Astros. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about Hunter Brown. He's gonna get smoked. I'm telling you that right now. It's hard to it's hard to stack the guys that you want on the Braves, but he's gonna get smoked. I'm not interested in any of these guys down here. They're down here for a reason. Patrick Corbin's going to get smoked. Um, Corbin's going to get smoked. Um, Kendricks is going to get smoked. I don't know about Sears. St. Louis ain't really hitting that. They're not really. They're bad saying that spectacular. But Hunter Brown for sure. If you could try to finagle some some Braves in your lineup, I'd do that. Yeah, so as far as pitchers go, I'm sticking to Gilbert, Singer, Jones, Ronaldo Lopez, maybe Kikuchi. If I play that many lineups, and then Dylan Cease, those five guys. But other than that, I'm not going to go too crazy. And the bottom of the barrel for pitching is the absolute bottom of the barrel. So if you want to experiment with those guys, feel free. But you're probably not going to be um, cashing anything. As far as bats go, <laughs> um, let me see. Let's see if we can get a few Braves in a lineup. It's going to be very hard, though. I have not I have not one ounce of faith in Hunter Brown. Um Hunter Brown. Alright, let's get our pitcher and then let's get some guys from Atlanta. So I'm going right back to Brady Singer. That's gonna be my first guy in. As far as Atlanta goes. Let's go to the let's go to Let's get Arcia, 3.8K. I don't think I want to use Darno on my catcher spot, so let's just pick up Michael Harris. So we got those two so far. And we just, and you're just hoping that um maybe some of the guys in front of them can get on base and then these guys can bring them home. That's what you're looking for. Obviously, you can't, you can't play all the, the, the good bats on DraftKings. Sandal, different story. Grab teams, you gotta be a little bit more um, creative, especially if you want to play decent pitching. I'm always gonna go for decent pitching on Grab Kings and just figure out the backs later on. Um, Darno, three point six. If you're building your lineup and you get the catcher, and there's there's not a lot of great catchers, but if you get the catcher. And you have the money for him, and there's no one else that stands out. Yeah, you can absolutely play Darno, but I'll leave that. I'll, I'm gonna leave that open, and I leave that for last. So we're gonna go with two Braves, and then let's get um going with two Braves, and I want to say Toronto is gonna go off. No, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Let's go to Pittsburgh. Quintana is not a strikeout pitcher, so these guys should have fun with him. Quintana is a left-handed pitcher. Sawinski's lefty. So let's pick up Hayes, and I think Hayes is a righty. Let's go Hayes and um, McCutcheon. 
McCutcheon's been seeing the ball well lately. I don't mind getting to him. So let's pick up McCutcheon. So we're going to do Brady Singer with Hayes and McCutcheon from Pittsburgh going up against Quintana. Then you got um Arcia and Harris from the Braves at the on the bottom at the bottom of the order. And what else you're looking for is you're looking for either the guys in front of these Braves to get on base so they could bring them home, or you're looking for these guys to get on base so the guys at the top of the order could bring them home. That's just what it is on DraftKings. You gotta be real strategic with DraftKings. Um when you when you when you play in DraftKings and you, you're looking at the winning lineups, it's not a the, the lineups aren't cute. It's a lot of guys at the bottom of the order, and you got to get comfortable playing guys at the bottom of the order. Unless you're playing the teams like Kansas City or Pittsburgh or teams like that where some of the guys in the middle of the order are not too expensive, but they got to have a good batting advantage. You can't just be playing them to play them. It's a lot of moving parts when it comes to this, but you know you just keep going, you just keep at it, and it'll get easier and easier to you. All right, before we go to FanDuel, if you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. If you're having a hard time building MLB lineups, you want me to help you, check out my Patreon linked in the description. I'll send you my full optimal lineups right before first pitch. We also have Super Chats, and we do have channel memberships, and the silver and gold memberships do get you lineups also. Um, one more thing, just in case you're new here, I don't really watch my MLB videos. I'm giving you a little bit of a guideline of how you could, um, possibly build a lineup, right? Spending up for a pitcher. We got some mid range bats. If you, you know, if you have to, you might have to switch some things around depending on your lineup build. You know what I'm saying? So this is not like, the end all be all, you know, you might have to take out maybe Michael Harris. You might have to pay down for pitcher. Like you gotta, you gotta let the, let the lineup make sense to you. You know what I'm saying? Just in case, because you might just try to fill in the blanks here and then get stuck. So just play with it. See what makes sense. And also with MLB, you want to pay attention to starting lineups because Sometimes they start, um, they start guys on the bench who are cheaper, and that will give you a little bit more wiggle room to play uh, more spend up. So let's go to Fanduel, and with the information that we already have, let's just get a quick lineup and let's get out of here. Um, we played Singer for DraftKings. I do like Gold um, Gilbert. He's playing really well. Jared Jones is playing well. Um. Definitely not scared of the Mets. Let's play. Let's play Jared Jones. Let's jump out the window. Let's go get some Braves. Let's see if we could get. Let's see who we could get. Um. Okay, they're definitely going off tomorrow. That's a. That's a. That's a fact. Um. Ozuna's 4K, Olsen is, Hunter is a right-handed pitcher, right? Let me see. Pretty sure he is. Hunter is a righty. Okay. So, Matt Olsen's definitely going yard tomorrow. Make sure we get get some of him, and let's see. Well, doing this 4K. Let's go back to Michael Harris. Let's go back to Michael Harris. He's 3,200. Still leaving us 3K left for for bats, and then we can go to. I don't want to go to Toronto. Toronto? Let's look at Toronto real quick. Turner's only 33. And I did say Biggio, right? 
Pichette's been hitting the ball, hitting the ball, hitting the ball pretty decent. Also, let's go Pichette. That's still more than enough money for the re- the rest of the um, spots available. So we're gonna go with Jared Jones with Olsen and Michael Harris. Two lefties are going up against Hunter Brown, who's a disaster. Then we're going to go with Justin Turner and Bo Bichette, who seem to be two of the few guys actually hitting the ball on Toronto, going up against Carlos Rodon, who's not bad. I just don't have no, I have no faith in him. You feel me? That's just a, I just feel, I just feel like I, I know for a fact the Braves are going to go off. And I think that Toronto goes off against Rodon. Not go off, go off, but, you know, ding him up a little bit. Listen, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go in and get out of here. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video like i said if you're not subscribed subscribe hit the bell thumbs up the video if you need me to send you full automated full automated what am i talking about full optimal lineups before first pitch i got a patreon linked in the description super chats are open channel memberships are open and i'm out of here talk to you later